Okay, here we go. How awesome is this? Now this looks like it's LEDs or something like that, but the only electricity is really coming from this UV light here. This is a purely mechanical display. So that was Barnaby hidden in the dark playing with his funny little thingy. But how do you stay hidden online when you're playing with your funny... Ah, uh, you know, I actually won't go there. Surfshark is a VPN that masks your internet traffic, protects your identity, and prevents tracking. You can protect many devices all at once, and it's available on Google Play and the Apple Store. As well as encrypting your data, Surfshark allows you to connect to a variety of international IPs, so even while I'm away, I can enjoy classic content from old Blighty. Poe couldn't make the tubby custard machine work. That worked. Oh, no. So? Tinky Winky tried. Tinky Winky try. I mean, by all means, try Tinky Winky, but it's probably better to get a specialist in. Ugh. This show is becoming absurdly predictable. So there you flip and go. There's literally no risk for trying Surfshark, and they have a 30-day money-back guarantee. And you get an extra four months if you go to surfshark.com forward slash Barnaby. Hey folks, Barnaby Dixon here. So I've made a mechanism and I find it incredibly satisfying. It serves a purpose as well, I'll get into all of that. But first I'm gonna show you how the thing looks and how it behaves. So pressure fitted into either side of these 3D printed parts are magnets. These magnets repel each other so that when I put this one in here, you get something that essentially, can you see how it floats there? Now that is a little bit chaotic, but if you put this pin through uh, here, you can pin it in place and then we get a, a kind of controlled pivot. Alrighty. So here we go. Now we have that repulsion constrained so that only pushes this part up. So what do I want to do with this? Well, I was having an issue with knowing what chord button my puppet was going to press prior to pressing it. And that is because he blocks the instrument. By the way, if you're new to this channel, I'm creating a physical overlay so that my puppets can perform with a digital musical instrument live. That's essentially the deal. I've done a series on this. You can watch the rest of the videos if you're interested. This piece at the moment is just a test. And if it works, I'll put all the other levers in. There'll be about seven that go across here for the various chords. So at this point, I'm adding another rod to the tip of the lever and trimming it down to size. Okay, we'll adjust the angle just a little bit. I think we can do that just by heating up and moving it down. I don't want to bend the wire itself because then we might create a swivel and that would uh, give us some inconsistent performance, I think. Okay, so that's, uh, that's loosely right. Just for the purposes of this test, that should be fine. Now we're gonna add this piece here, which is specially shaped to translate that up and down motion into a swivel. So that sits in like this. I need to push it in a little bit just to hear that pop. There we go, and on the other side. Okay, there we go, this, uh, this moves like this, you see? Now we're gonna put that lever back in place and put the pin in. Okay, that's in place. Check this out, so we'll do this and that swivels that piece downwards. Beautiful. You know what we'll do? Let's just stick on a little bit of plastic, melt it down a bit, just so that you can get a sense of that rotation happening. Okay, that's in place now. Check this out. Nice, huh? Okay, great. For me, this is uh, sufficient proof of concept, so let's go ahead and do the rest of the levers. Whoa, that's hot. So even after that successful test, there was a fair bit more problem solving. And I think the whole project took about a month from start to finish, alongside some other ones. But I'm going to include a much longer video on my Patreon at the $3 tier. So if you're interested in problem solving and 3D printing, that video could be for you. And thank you in advance for helping support the channel. For the rest of you folks, I'm going to show you the device and give you a good overview of how it functions. Okay, so here are the pressure pads. You saw one of them in the test at the beginning of the video. There are seven of them now. And as you can see, as I push down on them, we get these indicators that are revealing themselves as we press the corresponding pad. So here's how this works in practice. So I want to press the F key, let's say, but look, we're blocking the view. Uh, but I can see, oh, hang on, look, I'm on the yellow, which corresponds to the G, so I know, uh, move over one, blue, that's F, that's correct. So I can slide then this finger upwards, so there we have it, that's our F chord. I readily admit this was absolute overkill, but I was getting tired of excuses for myself. I was having some real trouble getting this thing to work and I thought, is there a nuclear option? How does it look and can I do it? And I think this is it.
So the last time I did a musical piece with this device before I had these indicators in place, it took about 200 attempts. This one took about <clears throat> eight. So I think it was a success. I hope you enjoy the piece. Take these chains from my heart and set me free. You've grown cold and no longer care for me. All my faith in you has gone, but the memories linger on. Take these chains from my heart and set me free. Take these tears from my eyes and let me see. Just a spark of the love that used to be. And if you find somebody new, let me find a new love to take these chains from my heart and set me free. Nice.